Welcome to your wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. In this shave, we are using the Fine Edge Osti So. This is out of 1920 to 1921. Just a beautiful razor. That is, I'm going to say, an extra hollow. This is all original, and by the way, that is blued. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Now, for our soap tonight, we are going to be using the Parasso Single Blade, and this is the Azure Lime. It is quite interesting. This is uh, got citrus, mint, juniper, moss, woods, and patchouli in it. It's really sounds good and has a marvelous scent. And for our brush tonight, I am using my Connecticut quarter brush and that is a Maggard 22 millimeter synthetic knot. We'll go ahead and get that wet just like that. We're going to get most of that water out of there though. And I'm going to Go ahead and put a dollop of this soap on that brush. Now this seems to have a different kind of look and feel to it. That's quite interesting. So we're going to just put that, I'm just going to bury that kind of off in there like that. And we're going to call that good for that. Now I am going to get my face wet. I did just come out of the shower, but since I don't have the bloom water that I would normally have with a hard soap, because I'm using a cream, I'm just going to get my face wet and we're going to get to lathering up. Mm -hmm. Now this brush is normally quite the lather machine. And this is the wet brush technique. So that brush has got some water in it. And look at it go. Wow. And this really does have a nice citrusy scent to it. Quite interesting. This is my first time to use it, but I figure since I've used the other single blade, this is not going to be much different except for the scent because your Parasso hard soaps are actually very similar except for the scent. Wow, look at that. Look at it explode. Isn't that nice? <laughs> All right, so we're getting our soap on, getting our cream on here. How are you doing? We made it to the midweek shave. Yes, we did. I hope your week is going well and uh, you're in high spirits. Yeah, and uh, possibly you have some new hardware or software coming for the holidays. Yeah. So that'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. And hopefully you're well. Yeah. You can't underrate your health. That is so important that uh, you have good health. Yeah. So, there we go. I think we're just about there. And like I say, I hope your week is going good and work is doing fine. I'm Where I work, I'm doing okay. It is doing good. And uh, it really, I work with a bunch of good people. You know, sometimes it uh, gets a little hectic, but other than that, it's fine. All 
right, there we go. Now, get those fingers kind of dried off. And I got a big mound right there of suds. <laughs> That's so good. All right, now I do Straight Razor Edge Friday specials on the first and third Friday of every month. If you missed the last one, you could click right here to see how to refresh your dull razor. Yes, so it is refreshing a razor and we bring a razor back that is dull and really useless and we make it shavable. So that is always good. Now, I also get my ideas for these Straight Razor Edge Friday specials from you. So down in the comments, go ahead, leave me a question, a comment, a suggestion, maybe even an idea for an upcoming Straight Razor Edge Friday special and we will get that going for you. All right. Now this is pass one for me and that primarily is going to be with the grain. Let's do this. Yeah, this is a nice razor. Yeah, this is my fine edge Ostiso, and it really does have a fine edge on it. Yes, it does. Yeah, nice. All right. Now, tip of the day. We need to switch hands. And if you're just beginning, I know it seems awkward, but if you switch hands, you'll be able to get to different parts of your face easier. Okay. And if you're just starting out, this is really simple because you really don't know how to do it any other way. So if you learn this way first, you got it made, all right? So I just switched hands. This is my off hand. Again, two fingers in the front, two behind of the handle. And it's just a matter of doing it and do it nice and slow. Take slow, short strokes. There we go.
Now, just as I'm shaving, go ahead, watch my hands, watch my face, watch what I'm doing, and uh, you can just learn a lot from seeing uh, what's going on, and then uh, you'll be able to, to try some of this, all right? Now, also, let me just do a disclaimer. That is a point. So, what we have to do, you need to glass that point, okay, just to, so it's not sharp, and that way, uh, that won't be a problem for you. Uh, if you're just starting out, it would even be better to go with a uh, round nose instead of a point like that. You'll find it works better, uh, at least in the beginning. And then if you want to, you can always do this with a point. But now even I did, I glass the point because I don't need any accidents happening. All right. So you have to be careful with that. And uh, this is pass two, right? We're going to get our lather on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> that is so good. We're going to go ahead and kick it up. Let me... I definitely got to maybe come up with a better idea on this. I know T's been trying to get me to do some kind of a, uh, a scuttle. And uh, I don't know, thinking about it, I really am. I'm almost thinking about uh, not that new, completely unbreakable one, but that plastic one that uh, you can put hot water in and uh, kind of be a travel one. I'm thinking about that one maybe. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, let, let me know down in the comments. I think that'd be cool. You know, we can always share and learn from each other. You know, these kind of things, really, you know, I have experience in something, you have experience in something. We come together and we maybe find a better way for both. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. Yeah, much more used to the hard soaps than the shaving creams. So I'm having to dial it in as we go, but it's all good. And it's a good experience for me. Now, matter of fact, if you're new around here, give me a hashtag new down in the comments, all right? And if you have a comment, a question, go ahead and put that in there too. We'll answer that as well and I do these shave of the day videos every Wednesday and Sunday 
Now, I also have a ton of links down in the description with straight razor shaving and honing videos and playlists. Check that out as well. Now, this is pass two, and for me, primarily, that's going to be against the grain. Let's do this. Here we go. Now we get the blade cleaned up. And now this is my dominant hand. Now I'm switching off to my off hand at this point. Okay. And it's easy to do. You'll be able to do it. Just give yourself time. The biggest thing with this is just keep shaving exactly the same way every day as soon as you figure out what works best for you. Just keep doing it. Every day you'll get muscle memory and then this won't be a problem. Yeah, once you get that muscle memory going, you'll really be able to enjoy your shave then. Get a little bump right there. Yep, it happens. No big deal though. All right. Now, get this other side. Now, I'm switching back to my dominant hand, but I'm holding the razor again in a different direction. This seems to allow me uh, better access to holding the blade. There you go. Yeah, you see, look at that. Not a problem. It's fine. So, you know, these kind of things happen from time to time. Uh, but again, that wasn't a big deal. So don't worry about it. All right.
There we go. Pass two complete. Oh, felt good too. Yep. Now let's get that washed off and see how we did. I think it's going to be fine though. I really do. So let's just get it going. Oh yeah. Oh, those cheeks are brilliant. Oh, right where they are. That is so nice. All right. Now, time for the half pass. If you haven't seen the brand new half pass revealed and reloaded, go ahead and check that out. All right, that'll give you more detail on this half pass. And uh, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna do my jawline, my neck only. That's all I need to do. And I'm gonna get a fantastic shave. I really am. So I don't need that full three passes. We're gonna go ahead and just do the jawline and the neck. And for me, uh, that is gonna be against the grain yeah now a little unconventional albeit but it works so you know may work for you too i don't know and now this is where glassing that uh, point makes all the difference in the world you'll see why right here now if that point was sharp that would be really dangerous This is really turning out to be a good shave. Yes, it is. Now, again, I'm switching to my off hand. So now we're going to do this side. Nice. Oh, hit another little bump right there. Again, no big deal. It'll be fine. There we go. And Get this side. All right. Now the shave in the books. Yep. Yes, and I believe it's a good one. I do. Let's get that rinsed off. Oh, oh that is nice. Wow. Okay, really. Good shave. That is a good shave. Oh my goodness. Now, alum everywhere. That'll be good for that little bump as well. This is astringent and antiseptic, which is a marvelous thing when you're shaving. Now, I'm going to dry that off, 
in. We are going with Thayer's, and this is the Lemon Witch Hazel. Yes, it is. This is lemonade for the face, and it's going to go really nice with this new Prasso Single Blade Azure Lime. Mm-hmm. Mm, very citrusy. Mm, wonderful. This really is going to be a good compliment. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I do. I put it everywhere. It's just, it's good. Yes, it is. Now, for our aftershave bomb, this is the Parasso Azure Lime. And it is going to be good for the skin. Yes, it is. Going to get some of that out of there, just like that. And let's get that on there. Yeah, definitely, definitely good. I got like a lemon lime thing going on. Mmm, and it's fresh. It really is fresh. And I, I like the mint and the juniper in this. It is so good. Now, you can click on this card to see the best how-to shave video you've ever seen. Click over here to see my latest video. Click down here on the video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.